On the floor, Birmingham police now have, a, have started a new operation to stop exhibition driving across the city. The idea is to keep you safe on the roads and uh, apart from reckless drivers here. Also today, city leaders telling us they've, they're supporting lawmakers in their new efforts to stop dangerous driving. Tristan Rupert joining us now live to explain what's in this plan. That's right, Sarah. Mayor Woofen spoke about both Operation Night Rider, BPD's newest effort to curtail exhibition driving, as well as the renewed effort from lawmakers and Birmingham city leaders to really clamp down on exhibition driving through legislation. Now, again, he spoke about both these today through his report to the city council. And Mayor Woofen says right now officers really can only go after exhibition drivers if they see the dangerous driving firsthand, but some lawmakers are looking at creating a bill or an amendment that would allow camera and video evidence to help catch drivers. Woodfin saying officers could then make more arrests. I want to be very clear with you as the summer months approach. Um, without camera usage, um, we're going to be hamstring on the ability to catch this every time it happens. Uh, my excitement and encouragement is that if cameras are allowed to be used, and it totally levels the playing field for us. I also caught with caught up, I should say, with City Council President Darrell O'Quinn after today's meeting. He says that it's only fitting that a group of individuals that is so keen on capturing images and videos of them breaking the law then have those same images and videos used against them in court. Now, coming up tonight at 5, I'll give you an inside look at Operation Night Rider, really look at some of the data and some of the things they've been able to remove from the streets just in the two weeks since they began this exhibition driving curtailing effort. Reporting in Birmingham, Tristan Rupert, WBRC, Fox 6 News, on your side. Right now, with the